right, so it will be learning how to create a Pepsi logo. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is set up profile new. So I've set my page already. So this is what I'm using 1920 by 1080. So you can set your own values. I'm going to click on cancel. So second thing I'm adding an adjustment layer to this. No, I'm adding an, an adjustment layer to this. I'm going to choose solid color. I think I should come to something like the and just let it I want I don't want it to be that bright. So I'm gonna click on my ellipse tool, put on shift and just drag. Then okay. click on my move tool, drag it to the center. Select uh before I select rather, I think I just select this and I should apply this to I should actually apply white color to this. On my move tool, and I'm I'm gonna rename this to white sec. White Alright, I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna cut this red and blue circle. Alright, so we have this as white circle, we have this as red, red and blue circle. So the, the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna come here and uh, draw or, or before I draw, I think I, I, I need to resize this layer. I need to apply free, free transform, free transform actually. So I'm, I'm going to hold on shift, uh, shift and alt, and I'm going to reduce it a little bit. I think this, this size is okay. Click on my check mark, and I'm going to uh, select this. I'm going to apply rest to this choose this red so so we 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 have this uh as the outline um, and we have this as the main figure so i'm i'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh close uh that is close the, vi the visibility here so i'll make it on on this so i'm going to uh, click here and select a uh, rectangle too so before then i i'm going to drag a uh, I'm going to drag a guide here and also drag another guide here. So, I, so I have these two guides. And I'm going to put my uh, I'm going to put my shape right. Start, start from the guide actually and just draw it. Make sure that the, the shape is on the guide. So, so I'm going to let go. I'm going to come here and remove my color to transparent. There is no fill actually. That's transparent. And I'm going to put my move to okay so i'm going to go to uh part selection two and i'm going to make sure that my direct my direct selection two is selected so then i'm going to place my uh, direct selection two on my line and right click then i'm going to add 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 an add anchor point two i'm going to drag this slightly below just like this okay and i'm going to uh come right here and just do this all right, I'm going to add. I'm going to click right and right click and add another anchor point to you. In this case, I should I should have it like this. And I should reduce this. Let me see this. I should reduce this like this. All right, and on this part, on this part, I'm going to add a, another anchor point to you. another anchor point. To you. Just like this. Okay, right this point, I'm, I'm going to raise it up. This is exactly what I needed, just to like this. But then take it up. Okay, so this is the exact shape. Okay, so let me show you. So let me come back here and hold and hold down my control and make me and select this. Alright, so I'm gonna come here and rasterize this layer. I'm gonna rasterize it. So after rasterizing this, I'll make sure that this is selected. I'm going to come here and click on clear. So after that, I'm gonna deselect it by pressing Ctrl D. So on undo, doing that. 
all I did was to use this rectangle to cut through the shape. As you can see, I have a transparent background here. If I uncheck this and also uncheck this, you see that all I have is a transparent background. So, so I'm going to remove the guidelines that I see it clearly. As you can see, this, this, this shape is directly cut and I have a transparent background background here so if i make this visible i also make this one this one visible okay you can see this is also a transparent ba ba background so the white here is 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 this this white circle is going to serve as the uh, as this inner white so after doing that i'm going to come here and select my uh my pin bucket tool then click here and make sure that blue is selected all right when the blue is selected, select any blue color and then click below here that's to fill in this blue when you're done with that drop your that select your move to all right so i'm going, I'm going to click on this rectangle and just delete it i don't, I don't need it anymore so this is exactly the logo that, that i needed exactly the pepsi logo well i want to add other effects to it i don't want it to be just as although this is how the logo looks like but i want to add another effect to it what i'm going to do is that i'm going to click this and this i'm going to drag it and just group them together I'm going to rename it as Pepsi logo. Pepsi logo. So, so after doing that, I'm, I'm going to right click here and add a blend man option. Alright. So, I think I should add a vegan in boss. Let's see that. Okay. Alright. Okay. Mm. Mm. I don't like the way I have this team at the midway. I think it's better this way, I don't like it. Hmm, I think I don't know how that is. I'm not sure about it. Drop shadow. Yes. Drop shadow you might not be seeing this drop shadow because of the uh the because this uh, background is very very dark. You might not be seeing it. But I just apply a little soft drop shadow here. Outside the is any need to check. Yeah, I think there's a need for it. To, to make it look a bit more bright, color overlay, I think I should add to that value to it. Oh, I don't, I don't need this. I think it's going to be a good end of a day for you. I might just make it. Okay, so I think if I come back to this and all this, I can check the soft light. All right. So the soft light and this one should be something like that. It's cool. Yeah, I don't want that black. It's That's why I have to move it because the reason why it's that because there the, the, is this dark uh, section here, so it's, so it's affecting this, this this area. So I have to remove it. So I, I think it's bright like this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on uh, yeah, click on OK. So I'm doing that. Let me let me put my logo by the, by the side here, and I want to I want to apply a text to it. Moonlight Pepsi. 
the thing is i don't actually know, know the font that is used to the, the original pepsi font so i'm going to use any font that is available I'm just going to make it easier I don't really know the font, so I'll make it bigger and just for my check mark. I'm going to make use of this. So I'm going to add a layer marks to this. If I add a layer marks, I think I, think I should rasterize this, this test. I think I'm going, I'm going to contribute. I'm going to rasterize this first. Rasterize layer, and then after rasterizing layer, I'm going to add uh, layer marks. I'm going to get my brush. To I should do this one and this one and this one. There's so many ways that you can chop this. I think I should do it this way. It's okay, so let me just drop it. Let me put on my move to I would also like to apply a I'm, I'm not seeing my text. Let me put this below here. Let me click on getting an option. Okay. Sometimes you say that is wow. Alright, exactly what I needed. Oh, I, I really like this uh, this size. This is it. I think this is nice. The text is very nice. I like the, the, the mixture of this blue and white. And also, this darkness I have. If you remove, uh, if you have something like a screen, you see, it makes it brighter. But I think I should leave it back to multiply. So, more multiply is okay. I don't, I don't want color value. I'm not sure I do. Okay, this is, this is good. Drop and shadow. Just times it. Sounds. Alright, so click my OK. Oh, my move to the other side. I'm going to click on a light transform. I don't think I need to transform this. Let me, let me just let me leave it this way. I don't need to transform it. Let me apply a from and get my equals to hold on. Hold on. Uh, I don't even need to hold on shift. I'll just drag it. Uh, I, you don't need to hold on shift. Hold on shift. I'm just going to drag it and uh, apply white. So I should apply it. I'm going to just re white the slide. Slides be free and uh, come to filter and apply blow. I'm gonna apply blow to this. I'm gonna choose close and blow. Okay, I'm, I, I did a mistake. I should have rushed right this layer, so but I'm gonna guide and click okay. I'm gonna uh, reduce, reduce the effect. Right? This is click on okay. So I'm gonna click on my move to and um, I'm gonna apply to transfer the cost. I'm gonna apply free, free, free transform. So I'm just going to scan it. Scan the task. Scan and click on a check mark. So, so guys, this is what this this is this is the exact Pepsi logo. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I think I just say save this thing first. Let me save it so that we can uh, view it on our. Let me, let me save it. Let me click on our. Save us. I'm gonna save it to the desktop. PNG. Save it to the desktop. Save it to the web. Save it. Yeah. So let me let me add over to the desktop as well. Okay. So this is a. Make this bigger. So guys, this is the the this is our this is our final output. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So feel feel free to subscribe. Thank you.